Peace YouTubers. Good morning my YouTubers and thanks all my subscribers again that subscribe to my BMW programming and encoding channel. Alright, we're going to now show persons what laptop you purchase and specification to program BMW cars efficiently without the laptop being freezing up and running too slow and all the other crap that comes along with a poorly efficient laptop, okay? Okay, like I said before in the previous video, you can get this laptop here that has this one, Lenovo T540P with a quad-core i7-4900MQ processor, okay? And you can get it maxed out with 16 gigabytes of random access memory, okay? And you can, instead of a 512 gigabyte solid state hard drive, you purchased a one terabyte hard drive instead because the files of ISTA D and ISTA B combined, they will be um, roughly 360, um, you know, tr sorry, 320 gigabytes and so on. And when you're running on PSDZ data like me, on ESIS, let's say you have ESIS installed. This is ESIS data folder right here. This is ESIS installed right here, okay? This is it. This is ESIS installed right here. When you're going to um, use ESIS, you're going to need to put the PSDZ data right here, the SWI data package right here. That is found right here, okay? Let me show you. Let me show you. Um, let me show you that a 500 gigabyte solid straight drive, it's not sufficient anymore. It's not sufficient. So I'm going to show you what um, laptop you purchase. Okay. All right. This data right here. Let me show you how big this is right here. The PSDZ data. This one. Okay. It's 182 gigabytes already in Ista D in Ryan Gold. But when you have to copy it and put it in Ista D, a 500 gigabyte hard drive will not be able to surface for it plus Ista P. Okay? You have to buy a one terabyte. Okay? And then now the same 182 has to be copied here. Otherwise, if the hard drive is small, you have to be keeping cutting and pasting from one ear from Ryan Gold to the ESIS data folder. And it becomes inefficient as you go forward. You know what I mean? So, you know, I recommend people, you know, when you purchase the i7 laptop, get one with quad core and then get one with 16 gigabytes of memory or 32 gigabytes of random access memory and also purchase a one terabyte Samsung solid state drive. Okay, let us go fishing and see what the price is for an SSD right now, Samsung. Because these things are much more efficient. And then that many people buy Samsung. Here's one right here. You can buy this one right here. This one is used, but nevertheless, they still work. But I don't like by use, so I go back and I find a new one. I'm looking for a new, like this one right here. But this one is an HP and so on. But let me, um. well, usually you can look for a new up here. Here's it, here's a new. It's a 2,600 of them is available there. All right, let us, let, 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 me, let me see if I can orientate this screen a little more. The grid should be more populating all right you can also use one of these m.2 um solid state drive okay because my msi laptop that i have is a gaming laptop i purchased for my bmw look this is what i have right here for my um for my machine this is what i um this is what i purchased here this laptop i have this one this is the one i have right now this is the one I'm now using right now, programming BMW cars. I purchased gaming laptop to program BMW cars. I don't purchase the other ones who are, are having lower class or low end processors. I avoid the advanced micro devices laptop. Let me show you what laptop you don't buy. Laptops with AMD CPUs, okay? These laptops that have um, that has AMD CPU, AMD chipsets, don't buy them. I don't recommend it at all. Okay, especially worse, the stupid ass A series. They are crappy. They are slow and full of shit. Okay, as much as I see the laptop beautifully adorned outwardly, just pay attention to what processor is inside the board. Once it's an AMD, do not buy it. The dual cores are slow as hell and crappy. Okay. Don't buy no AMD, no advanced micro devices processor. Only purchase Intel. Intel powerful i5s are the i hand i7 quad core, okay? And so on. And let me go back here and show you here. Let me go back here up on um, CPU benchmark and show you certain things here. 
when you look at these lower end i7s they are much more powerful than the amds that are in these stupid ass laptops like um this one here when you go right here let me show you something when, when we go right here right click i will click a search here let us go and see if you benchmark and let us see what the average cpu mark is for this um okay see there it's 2517 it's bullshit okay it's not good enough it's not sufficient enough i see where it's at it's way beneath the i core the intel i5 5200 dual core you see that so just hear my judgment on these um, laptops when you purchase them make sure you find out the cpu type or the type of cpu that is inside the laptop don't buy the laptops that has the you know the advanced micro devices cpu in them they are bullshit only buy the one which are intel these that goes up all the way to the i7 8750h and the i7 7700hq this is the one currently i'm using this one here that stays um the i7 77 this one i'm using i'm not doing using anything less than this one and my average cpu mark have to be above 7000 okay it makes sense because you know as i can see that even this i used to have a laptop back two three years ago in 2016 that has this processor i7 4700 mq and it's much much way much more better in performance than the advanced micro devices cpu okay as you can see this one is above 7000 okay so always remember that um my bmw subscribers always remember you can buy this one too the i7 36 30 quad core two they have the q at the end of it quad core you can take um a chance with it i also install software for people on their laptop where they have the i5 32 30 m okay this is efficient as well okay and this one and so on and this one they are much more better off than the advanced micro devices okay so always remember that because these AMDs here, right here, they are all bullshit. Bullshit. Not good enough, okay? So just remember, people, always buy the different type of laptop brands with an Intel powerful i-end i5 or a powerful i-end i7. Always look for the i-end dual core and also look for the i-end i7 quad core, okay? Just remember that part. And you will be good to go and rock and roll, okay, people? okay all right so um all right then let me show you something again people everybody let me show you laptops that you avoid purchasing let me show you something you have some of the laptops that are newly farmed and selling and they have something like this the rj45 ethernet port let me show you something people there's a problem here going forward with some of these laptops okay you see this port right here the rj45 port this one you see that little cut where that little lip of those cuts on the side where the lip can be pushed down and then you insert the rj45 ethernet card from the icon to the laptop if you have to push down the lip do not buy the laptop that has this ethernet rj45 port lip push down don't buy it because if the laptop barely shift on the table when you program the car it's going to disconnect one of the pins because it's not solidly fixed inside of it. So avoid buying laptops like these that has these RJ45 port cut um, with the lip, latch it at the side. Buy the ones like this that I recommend. Watch. Watch, watch. Buy the ones like this. My laptop is this one right here. Let me show you. I'm going to get a uh, screen. Let me show you. Um, what I have here I'm gonna show you the one that I have I'm just want to find one that is cut to the side like this one you see this one you see the RJ45 port it cuts to the side directly into the side where there's no latchet or lip to push down in order for you to insert that Ethernet card so always remember that okay people but let me go on Amazon let me see if I can find one here let me click on this guy's website here and let me see if I can put up a much more bigger picture of it going forward um let me see um here's it right here see that let me see if i can maximize this thing uh oh where is it okay cool here's it you can see this one in the picture right here all right i'm gonna go on amazon as you can see you see the difference you see the lip right here you see the cut at both sides it can go down and as you can look at this one right here 
you can see it it's solidly cut into the side of the laptop when you push the heat and the cable in you just hear click it just click and locked in it can't move no matter how much you shift the laptop on the table it won't move but nevertheless though let me see if i can find um let me see if i can find one of these on amazon oh, here's it the one that i have this is it on amazon so okay there's no picture there's not much picture here to see but let me click on a similar the g L73, the GL73 is, mesh, is, is probably the same, the same, the same. Look, see that? You see that the Ethernet port is solidly built, solidly cut inside of it. Just remember the RJ45 port, okay? Just buy a laptop exactly like that, right there. Avoid buying this one. Avoid buying this one with the latchet to push down. Avoid it. Because if the laptop shifts on the table or anything, then the the car control module is gonna get bricked or go in programming aboard and you could be finding yourself on a side of a liability where you have to purchase back the modules and so on all right so you have to be careful on that account all right people all right so um, let us go back here and look i want to find the side of the laptop where i want to recommend laptops that you can buy laptops that you can buy let me show you people laptops you can buy for bmw is this one uh, precision the Dell laptop precision some of them you can avoid buying them because some of them is really and truly expensive but they're really and truly is a disappointment okay this one doesn't have much picture so i won't be able to recommend that one okay you can actually um i want to be able to okay you see this laptop right here the dell precision m4800 this is a super laptop to buy it's a sweet laptop to buy I recommend this to one of my BMW clients in Pennsylvania, Michael. But right now, you know, Michael cursed me out because he thought that I didn't do something for him. But nevertheless, he cursed me out. Miami is not friend anymore, but you know, I don't like, I don't hate him as a brother. But nevertheless, I recommend one of these laptops for him. And right now, his thing is moving very robust and so on. Hey, let me see if I can call him. Cause him on my bridge and still enough. Michael. Let me see if I can call him. I'll make it up back with him because I want good bread in him. I'm not supposed to see him uh, make him feel grieved with me, you know, man. Let me see if I can call him. Michael. No, 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 Michael. Hey, Mike, what up? All right. Let me, let me, let me pause this one. Yeah, these laptops are super quick and nice and so on, all right? As you can see, the, the, um, the Intel i7 4800MQ. See that? 8,445. And so on. It's a quad core. Four cores and so on. Very good. It's just one notch beneath mine. You know, see. So these are the laptops you buy, people. These are the laptops you grab. You know what I mean? For program BMW. These are super laptops. Even these little laptops right here. These little ones right here. They are efficient as well. Okay? With the i7. 4610 uh, mobile processor that is on it and these ones have the, the ethernet port cut directly into the side of the laptop i think it's at the back here's it see it? this one cuts directly in the back of the laptop not having a latchet so just remember to purchase those kind of laptops all right so um they have some new laptops let me see if i can find some of them that i can recommend okay there's another one here where the you see that the RJ45 Ethernet port cut directly into the the rear of the laptop. Okay, and um, as you can see, here's a powerful i5 right here. We let me see if this is a quad core, because I guess they are start developing now the i some i and i5 with quad cores. As you can see, yes, this one is four. You see that? But let's find out if it's hyper threading. That is the thing. If it can hyper thread. If they, well, it looks like it's 7,664, is it? So therefore, maybe it has hyper trading capability. I don't know. I know I could actually look at this one. I to go to CPU world. Right here. We can look if it has an hyper trading capability to it. Because some of the i5s cannot hyper threads. Where do I find this information again? I remember if I'm... Or, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, I mean, something hyper thread, hyper thread, hyper thread, hyper thread. 
CPU features, core name, microarchitecture, certain things you will see. Okay, it's gonna come, it's gonna be down in this year right here. I prefer it, I prefer it. Yes, Mike's. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, supported technology, hyper threading. This one have turbo core boost and so on. But this one is a negative sign right here. Just to go up to the top. And it said this i5 7440HQ, it cannot hyper thread. But this one can, this dual core can. This i5 7300 um, dual core, this one has um, a plus, see that? Hyper threading is added to the, to the supported technology of, of its time or of its generation. But this one have a minus, negative, it's not there. So this laptop right here, um, it only have four, you know, logical, four, um, sorry, four physical cores, but it doesn't have any hyper threading technology. Maybe it can do something, but I won't buy it though. So I don't recommend that. I recommend, you know, the dual core will be better. As long as the dual core can turbo boost and hyper thread, you need that to run BMW programming and so on and so forth. And here's another laptop, a Dell Precision 7710. Well, let me look and see where the Ethernet port is at. Okay, here's it. Built solidly cut into the back of the laptop. That's it. This is one of the laptops you can purchase as well, okay? And more about this one, have a numerical keypad over there to the side. So it's a simple one too. And so on. And this processor right here, it's not all that bad. This processor is a quad core. But it's really soldered onto the board because it's basically an H. See that? So these are the kind of CPUs you purchase and they're given laptops that you want to purchase for the BMW side of things. Okay. Let us look at this laptop right here. This Dell right here. So this one thin looking like a blade, but because it doesn't have much picture. But I can pull up the picture of it online. I can put it up on Google. Can go in images. And I can look until I find where the Ethernet port on it is at. Um, let me look. Oh, am I am I having the right one here? Dell seventy. Okay, it's the wrong one. It's the wrong one they gave me. Yeah, I don't want that. So fifty five twenty. We want to see what the Ethernet port is like. Let me go on Amazon here. I want to see how many pictures it has. All right, this picture can't be maximized. Let me refresh. Somebody interpolate pictures by copying from other people images and using it over uh, over on their publication. As you can see that this really is not this is not Dell computers. If this is Dell computers, then maybe maybe it is, maybe it's not. But when you look at the pictures, they don't look authentic. Unless of course the resolution doesn't work out yet. You know what I mean? Because usually when you click on it, it's more much more. Um, high resolution and so on. I know as much people want to copy some people I uh, think today. So I want to look for a Dell 55. Um, I want to show you something. Uh oh, there's no picture here much about that. Oops, 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 oops. Nah, 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 nah. All right, I can probably be much more RJ45 port. These laptops, people, just remember when you're looking at looking looking for them, just make sure you look look at the RJ45 port. If it's um lip push down latchet design, otherwise you're gonna be in trouble when you're programming a car under laptop shift. You're gonna really be in do deep doo do. Okay, everybody, you get the points. Okay. So we're gonna stop this video now and um move forward. Okay. All right. Thanks for viewing my YouTube channel. I'm going to make another video as to the power supply that you need for a battery maintainer on the BMWs, okay? Have a nice day, YouTubers, and thanks for viewing my video. Remember to subscribe.